Hi, I uh, ask God to continue to give me more dreams and visions of uh, what is to come. Now, I haven't been getting as many dreams and visions as I used to, but I still get them occasionally. So around the middle of January 2015, I dreamt I was inside a car, but it felt more like it was a home. So I was living inside this car, um, and then all of a sudden I remember looking up in the sky and I saw aircrafts circling around my car or above my car. Um, and these were aircrafts I had never seen before. They didn't look like airplanes or anything, but they, they were just kind of odd shape um, type aircrafts uh, above my car. In my spirit, I knew the government was spying on us in these aircrafts that were circling above us. Um, next, I remember a police officer knocking on uh, my car door. When I opened the door, he handed me a small child and told me to basically take care of this child. Now, I can't remember if this child was a boy or a girl, but it was a, a little child, maybe around four or five years old. Um, then I saw myself eating meat after that. Um, it was like a piece of chicken and there was still a little bit of meat left on the bone of a chicken leg. And I thought to myself, um, that maybe I should have saved some of the meat before throwing it away. Then all of a sudden I saw a family sitting together and they were, um, I don't know, they looked like they were eating together, but there wasn't enough food to go around. And I knew they were still hungry. Then I saw their black dog being roasted over a fire. And um, I knew immediately that there wasn't enough food to eat, so they had to do this to their dog. And I was so sad when I woke up um, from this because... Uh, I, I just can't even imagine doing that to your dogs because I have two dogs and I love dearly. I can't even imagine the thought of doing that. But that's what I saw in the dream. And then a few days after this dream, I was driving in my car and I was talking to God and I was asking him about this dream. I asked him what this dream was all about and um, all of a sudden, I don't know why, but I looked to my right and there was this big sign in front of a store in a, a strip mall that said, coming soon. And I thought, well, this is really weird. For some reason, I immediately knew this was an answer from him um, in the dream. I don't know why I looked over to my right as I was driving and I was talking to him about this dream. And then all of a sudden, I got this sign, coming soon. So maybe there's some connection there. I I don't know, but I, I just got the feeling that the dream that I had, um, you know, is telling me that that this this type of event will be coming soon. So it's not going to be pretty, people. Anyway, um, let me tell you about my other dream that I had on February first. Of uh, this year, I dreamt that I saw Satan or the devil. I don't know which one, but my spirit knew he was evil. He was dark and ominous looking. Uh, and he had this like dark black cloak that went over his head and all the way down to his body. And I remember his eyes were glowing kind of reddish color. And then I saw him getting on this black horse. And he had this long, skinny, sharp black metal pole with the sharp pointed end facing the top. And he was holding this uh, metal pole. And, and that was all I remember seeing. And I woke up scared to death. Uh, and, um... I, I don't know what this means. Maybe it's a warning that, you know, something is coming, something bad is coming. So um, I feel I have to warn all of you to be ready. Jesus is coming back real soon. And if you want to be with him in heaven, you must believe and accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. 
You need to ask him to forgive you of your sins. You also need to acknowledge that he died on the cross for your sins and was raised from his death. You can tell him in your own words, or you can sincerely say this prayer. Thank you, everyone, for listening. The prayer, I'm sorry, is uh, included in the description box. Thanks again for listening.